we have been talking about statistics and we have learned about some of the measures of central tendency and a measure of variability. The measures of central tendency that we've talked about are mean, median, mode, and mid-range. The measure of variability that we talked about, how spread out the data is, how we can tell that, is something called the range. So we're going to go through another example, and this example is going to be good because it's going to answer some questions about some special situations that we'll have with certain measures, okay? Specifically, median and mode, okay? So we're going to, first thing we're going to do, like I talked about, is we are go, going to put these in order right away. I think it's the easiest thing to do. So I see a one, I see another one, there's a two, three, four, another four, five, five, Another five. Okay. A six. Seven. And eight. Okay, so we have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve numbers. Okay. And I apologize, I believe that this five, and th I believe that that five is supposed to be a three. This was supposed to be a three. So I'm sorry about that. So we have one, one, two, three, three, four, five. Sorry. This was supposed to be a three. Okay? Sorry. So we have one, one, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, that's our data set. Sorry about that. I must copy it wrong. But so this is our data set that we have based on this. We put it in order. Okay, we put it in order. So the first thing we're gonna find is mean. Mean is average. Another word for it is average. And when you find the mean, you add up all the numbers and you divide by how many numbers there are. So, when I add these numbers up, I'm going to add it on a calculator. 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 equals. I got 49. Now, because I have a calculator and that went pretty quickly, I'm going to re-add it to make sure I get 49 again. Okay, that will just double check. So, I clear it a couple times. 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8. 49. Now I'm going to divide by how many numbers there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to divide by 12. So I'm going to take 49 divided by 12 and I get 4.0833. Three repeating. I'm going to round to the hundredth like we usually do in class and this three tells that eight to stay so my average is 4.08. My average is 4.08. Now we're going to find the median. We're going to find the median. Okay. The median is when we find what the middle of the data set. So I'm going to cross off the numbers starting on the outside. So when I cross this off, we're looking for the number that's in the middle. So there's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now there's two numbers in the middle. Okay, so in this case, they're both fours. Sometimes they're gonna be different numbers. So what you do is you, if you have two numbers in the middle, you take these numbers and you find the mean of them. So you're gonna do four plus four divided by two. Okay, so our median would be four plus four is eight, divided by two is obviously four. So our median is four. 
Okay, but if there's ever two numbers in the middle, you find the mean of those two numbers, the average of those two numbers. Add them up and divide by two. Okay, that's a special situation with median. Okay, you'll know you'll have to do that if you have a neat, an even number of data points. Okay, the next number is mode. Mode. Okay. Mode. One shows up twice, three shows up twice, four shows up twice, five shows up twice. So mode is the number that shows up the most often, okay? Well, in this case, we have four different numbers that show up the same amount of times the most often. So we are going to have four different modes. So I would just write one, three, four, and five. Those numbers show up the most often. Okay, those numbers show up the most often. Okay, and then our last measure of central tendency was mid-range, and that's when you take the greatest number and add it to the smallest number and divide by two. So our smallest number is one plus eight is our biggest number we divide by two. So one, I, if you don't know or you want to, just double check your work. One plus eight is nine, divided by two is 4.5. So our mean was 4.08, our median was four, our mode was one, three, four, and five and our mid-range was 4.5, 4.5. These were all our measures of central tendency, measures of central tendency, okay? Now let's do our measure of variability that we talked about, and that is range, range. Range tells us how spread out the data is, and I really like the range because it tells me how confident I can be in the decisions I'm gonna make based on the data. So, range is when we take the biggest number, simple, and we subtract it from the smallest number. So our biggest is eight, our smallest is one, eight minus one is seven. So our range is seven, and this is our measure of variability, measure of variability. Okay, so a couple things to highlight in that video, in this video about mean, median, mode, range, and mid-range. First of all, if you are finding the median and there are an even number of data points, you're gonna have two numbers in the middle. When you have two numbers in the middle, you need to find the mean of those two numbers. Okay, that's the first thing. The second big point in this video is that when you are finding the mode, Okay, you are choosing the one that happens the most often. Well, if there's more, if there's a tie for the number that happens the most often, then you have more than one mode. Okay, if you have questions, rewatch the video. If you have a question specific about the video, then ask. Okay, but these two videos about mean, median, mode, range, and mid range should give you an idea of how to find them and should give you an idea of what they are and how we use them. Remember, our measures of central tendency give us a number that's in the middle, okay, in the middle of the data, and our measures of variability tell us how spread out the data is. So together, these numbers can tell us, can help us make predictions about the future, okay? If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, make sure these are in your notes. and. If you have questions or if you need to watch the video again, make sure that you do that.